Today, they talk. It's uh, it's like my. Look, you're not under arrest. You can leave at any time you get rid. That's that's just like I said. We're born for them. That's basically. It's a, yeah, that's fine. Uh, you you want to reload it? Yeah, no, man. Yeah, I understand. Okay, I'm fine. Okay. Today, they didn't know we were first 2017. The time was 12:41. And the Clayton County Sheriff Department threatened the time of the state today. What was Bev looking for? Spell Bev. B E V I L Y. Give me a little bit of dress. 70, 32, Highway 61, South. We'll get Mississippi. 39150. Uh, how much education you got? Um, I will obtain a specialist degree. Give me a sub. Four six six seven three one zero zero five. Date of birth? 12 16 1991. Current ball number? 601 831 5320. All right, before we uh, get a statement, put me on reach your rights, okay? Before we ask you a question, you must understand your rights. You got a right to remain right silent, so then I'll do to ask any question. And now you say, Ken, we'll be you to see you in the court of law. You have a right to talk to the lawyer for advice. Before we ask you any question, I have a withdrawal you question. If you're not a full lawyer, it won't be a point of view for any question if you wish. You can start to answer a question now without lawyer prison. You still have a right to stop asking at any time. You also have a right to stop asking any time to take calls to the lawyer. You understand all that? Yes, sir. The way it is, I have already stated my rights. I understand my rights are and willing to make a statement after a question. I'm not a lawyer at this time. I understand no way I have no one. No points of threats have been made to me, no principal urge, no force to be a cavity against me. You understand all that? Yes, sir. All right, need you to go forward and sign this one for you. Come on, get it. You just sign that you understand that period. That period. I just read it to you. That's just your information. Yeah, just ask your name and all this stuff. Are you willing to ask them any question that we have? Give a statement concerning the drive and smell of your door. Yes, sir. Starting off from um, starting off from Friday, Friday night to Saturday when you first how you obtained the drive, what time it was, okay. In your own words, up until you got home and you got yourself uh, not three more, not four. Okay. Um Friday even my cousin they yeah. Skinner had um, called and let me know that she was keeping my child for the night. She said that she had got her from my uh, my baby's mother early in that day and was just calling, uh, just let me know that she had her at Friday. So, you did very well with that. Deidreana Smith. So, um, I had I coach, I had a game that Friday night. Uh, and it wasn't my weekend to have her anyway, so I, um, I didn't bother too much. Um, that Saturday morning, Woke up, I had a community service in Jefferson County. While at the community service, I uh, got a phone call from my father saying that my mom was basically in a... What, what, what were the dates? Hmm? What, what were the dates? Eight. Saturday, what, what Saturday. 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 And while we were at the nursing home for our community service event, I got a phone call from my father saying that my mom was basically in critical condition and the doctor said she didn't have much longer, so they wanted all of the family to come up. Um, so during this time, we could leave from Bay to Kirk Gibson. Um, I had a phone call um, from my auntie and from this guy that uh, my child was hurt here in Fort Gibson. And I really did it happen car seat or bag or anything like that. So I said, well, I'll just get her, just break the meat. I have a car seat in her bag. She can come with uh, me and my wife and my other child to Vicksburg. So when I'm around noon, um, the four of us travel up to Vicksburg to the hospital, uh, River Reed, well, Mary Hill, I'm 61. Who is which? My wife, Takiya Beverly, Aubrey Beverly, and Gerard Smith. Aubrey is the Aubrey's my six month old. So the four of us, uh, we drove up to Vicksburg. We went to the hospital. 
Um, a lot of my family were in and out that day. So we stayed at the hospital. Um, but I, we never left the hospital. We stayed there up until about eight, nine o'clock because my father had to learn home to uh, attend the shower and grasp my clothes because he had planned on standing there. So after the four of us left, myself, my wife, and my two children, we stopped at a wing place, uh, a next level wing, some 61 South. Um, just a little after nine o'clock, I believe. And um, I, I had placed in order to go. So I just went inside, I um, got my order, came back out. We bitched on down to Fort Gibson. My wife had placed an order at the Pizza Hut in Fort Gibson. Um, I picked up her wings from out of there, uh, made it home. Um, by the time we were home, I can remember Jariah was asleep. So um, as we go in the house, I took Jariah in, um, took him to my room for a second just to change the diaper before I put her in a crib. So uh, I gave her kisses, I gave her love, put her in the crib, and she gave me one more. And, uh, later down, I gave her, um, gave her doll like I always do, and a teddy bear behind her like I always do. Uh, she laid down, uh, went on back to sleep. And my wife went in the room, went to sleep. Uh, somewhere around five, little after five that morning. Woke up, asked my wife to uh, just get me some drink out of the kitchen. So she got up about 15, 20 seconds, wasn't even long. Just moments later, she ran back to the room crying, staying dry, dry. She's not breathing. Get up. Go into her uh, bedroom, which is right beside my eye, looking in the crib. She's not moving. She's not breathing. I immediately called 911 to let them know. After calling 911, uh, I immediately called my mother, Dean Rounds. I didn't let her know what had happened. Um, I just told them to get to the house. I said, There's something's wrong. Just get to the house the same as you can. Yeah. She came over to the house. Um, and that point, wait for her. Uh, the police and everyone else they came over there. So we took the baby. Bob was a power body. How old was she? When I took her in the bed, yeah. oh, she felt, I felt normal. normal. It, normal enough for me not to. It's not something that I would think to check before she got in bed of how you know, was she cold. We're in a warm car coming home, so I imagine she. Did you do anything prior to being placed in the bed before you went to sleep? I'm sorry. Nothing. You didn't think you placed in the bed was straight to sleep? Yes, sir. Investigators did tell with the state of Mississippi. Yes, sir. And I just want to ask a couple of questions. Uh, all right, uh, Mr. Beverly, uh, you said that y'all. Well, I ate before I went to sleep. Okay. Y'all come from the hospital in yes, Pittsburgh, Mississippi, Mary Hill. Yes, sir. And y'all were in what type of car? A uh, Dodge Charger. A Dodge Charger? Yes, sir. And who was driving? I was driving. And you were, where was the other uh, kids? They were in the back seat, in the car seats. They were both in car seats? Yes, sir. Okay. Did anything happen in the cars on your way from the hospital? No, sir. Okay. Who was on the front? My wife. Okay. So, name everybody that was in the car? Uh, Boy was building the fort, which is myself, the kid building, my wife, Aubrey, Aubrey, Beverly, my six month old, and Jariah Smith, my 15 month old. And y'all were riding in what kind of car? The Dodge Charger. What year? 2011, I believe. 2011. Yes, and that is a four door, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And y'all left the hospital, Barrett Health, in Pittsburgh, Mississippi, at 61 South. Yes, sir. And you stopped at Next Level? Next Level Wing. I believe that's the name. Okay. Yes, sir. What was going on in the car from the hospital to Next Level? Nothing. Uh, I knew they were sleeping, so uh, I played the little brother by do two things on fire. Okay. And so both kids were sleep. Yes, sir. No crying. No nothing. No, sir. No crying at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when you walked out of the hospital, did you did, did you notice anything about right? No, sir. Just covered them up and uh, walked to the car. Was she sleep then? She had just woken up because they were asleep prior to us leaving the hospital. So she had just woken up. Uh, just woke up from the time uh, 
I got back in the car from the hospital. Okay, who was in the hospital room when you guys left? Just my father and my mother when we left. Like I said, everybody had left a little earlier, and I was just waving until my dad got back. So where were the kids building? They were sleeping on the uh, they were sleeping on the little sofa right there. Both of them were sleeping. Yes, sir. Okay. So what time was it when you got ready to leave? When your dad got back? It was around nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes, sir. So I went there. So we on October twenty first at nine p.m. at night. You're leaving approximately nine. Approximately. You're leaving Vicksburg, Maryland, Health, and Vicksburg, Mississippi. Yes, sir. You get into your car. You strap the kids in the back seat. Yes, sir. Then you get ready to leave. Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
just a, a bed her new top. So what was in the bed when you placed her in the bed? Just a bed, a doll, and her up. Blankets. Your wife liked it. She. Okay. All right, then. About what time do you think it is, then? It's probably around, uh, like, a little bit after 10, probably. I don't know. Wasn't too, too late. Somewhere after 10 o'clock. Okay. So when you placed her in the bed, what did you do then? Um, went back in uh, my room. I'm trying to think if I took a shower. Probably took a shower. Yep, I did take a shower. When did you eat? Uh, I ate the wings. When did you eat? After, I ate the wings after I took a shower. Okay, so you went back to your room, you took a shower. And where is, where is, uh, what's your water for? Takia. Oh, Takia. Where is Takia? Takia's with the baby. The six uh, months. Okay, where does that six month old sleep? She sleeps in her own bassinet in the room with us. In the master bedroom? Yes, sir. And Jiraiya has her own. Mm -hmm. And she's in the crib. Yes, sir. Describe that crib. Um, it's a white crib. It's a sturdy crib. It's one of those ones that will eventually convert to a twin size bed. The day bed is just a regular baby crib. Actually, we have both. We have two cribs in there. Okay. The baby baby is just too small to be a crib like that. But there's two cribs in this one room? Yes, sir. Okay. They're both the same? Yeah, pretty much I did. Oh, okay. Only the, the baby's crib that matches up high right now. She's got the crib that matches the box, so she can't ever, you know, climb out. So. Okay, what is the frame? Is it metal? Wood frame. It's a wood frame, sir. Okay. All right. And you basically had her in the bed and you turned the light on. Is it nightlight inside there? Inside the room? No, so it's not a nightlight in the room. It's a, um, it's a nightlight in the hallway. So we walk through. Mm -hmm. The light shines her. Shine in the room. Okay. Did you yeah. have any monitors or anything in that room? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. Not anymore. No, sir. Okay. We used to use the uh, iPad for it, but since she's gotten older now, we don't use it anymore. And if something, if she basically started crying, you can do it with your door was open. Her door was open, and you're kind of like from where I'm sitting to that door here. Okay, okay. We'll describe that distance. Like I say it's uh, estimated. No more than 10 feet. 10? Yeah. No, no more than 10 feet. Okay, so probably less than 10 feet. So your master bedroom to the room where Jariah was um, asleep was about 10 feet? Yes, sir. So if she started crying, you can hear dead. Okay. Dead. Um, you said that you placed her in the bed, you went back in your room, and you took a shower? Yes, sir. Where was your wife at? Uh, took a shower in the hall bathroom. In the hall bathroom? Yes. bathroom? In proximity of Jariah's room, where she was, what how? Where is that? Next, next door. Now, with the shower going, you can't hear anything, or can you? If the shower's going, no, sir. You can't. Now, if the door was closed, the shower's going, and she started, she'd have to be screaming for you to just hear her here. Okay. Okay. So, where is your wife now when you. When I'm showering? Yeah. With the baby. And where are they? In the master bedroom. And what is going on with them? Just wait for me to get out. So, I believe the baby, baby is still up. I believe six month old is still up. So, if I'm shy, I'm going to chill. I'll get up until she comes back. Okay. So, the baby dad woke up? Mm hmm. Okay. Probably so. You can't recall? Okay. Honestly, probably if we didn't shower them together, she probably was uh, was awake and she was watching. So, y'all only shower together? Every now and then. Every now and then? Okay. And basically after that, then she, when she got out of the shower, what would your wife do? Uh, wait on me. Oh, to come back around so she can shower. Okay. And where was it? It was six months old. With me at this point. Okay. So she was holding the six month old? Um, I can't recall. She was holding it. Now she was in the room with me. She was in the room? And when you got in the room, basically she got up to go. Yes, sir. Did she say anything about Jariah or woke her up or anything? She did say uh, she heard a cough a little bit. That's normal, but other than that, nothing. She said she heard Jariah she cough or something. What did that? What? Just the baby, did Jariah have a cold? Mm -mm. She actually did. She was actually, actually fine. So was that about, that was suspicious or sus um, did not suspect anything? No, sir. If she calls you, that's what your wife would tell you every time? Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't think anything of it. It wasn't a constant call by the ear. She said our room was right upside each other, so it wasn't 
hacking or anything like this. It's probably now, this is when you got out of the shower, right? Yes, sir. And she said that she heard her call. Mm -hmm. What else did she do? Did she go in to see if everything? Yeah, she had, yeah, she has to come through. There. That's how she heard okay. coming through from the hall bathroom, baby room. Mm -hmm. Where was she coming from? The hall bathroom, shower. Okay. But you were in the shower. No, no, this is afterwards. So after you got in the room. I'm in the room now with the child. Okay. My wife is in the shower. Okay. My wife has passed through mm -hmm. the room to come back to the room. Oh, okay. So as you were coming through, she hear calling something. Okay. 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 So she was in the child. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you got out of the child, when you went in the room, your wife was already in the room with the six month old, mm -hmm. Aubrey. Mm -hmm. And basically, she had been with Aubrey the entire time. When did she get up and? So to my knowledge, I'm in the shower. Okay, so did she, uh, her food, she, y'all eat together? Together when we got back in the room. Okay, so basically she took a shower. I took a shower, she took a shower, we ate together. And what was awkward? She was either asleep or with us for had, had you heard any noises from Jariah? No, sir. So Jariah is sound asleep about now? Yes, sir. Okay. And you, pretty much both of you guys got out? H your wings. Yes, sir. About what time is it now? It's probably about 11 o'clock now. Okay. And then what happened? Go sleep. Go sleep. Okay, and then you wake up. Wake up a fire. Talk a little bit. I guess we're going to give me something to drink. I just didn't feel like getting up. And, uh, is she resist or did she go ahead and get it? No, she made so, Like I said, we had, we had woke up just a little. Talk for a couple minutes, not just ask, hey, can you uh, give me something to drink? Mm -hmm. and, uh, that's when she went and got me something to drink. Well, she didn't actually make it past that. Mm -hmm. um, that's when she came back to the wing and let me know something wrong with her eye. How did she know that? Because, okay, just had looking, um, you have to look down in there as you walk by. Not just gonna walk by your child, mm -hmm. bed, and not look at her. So what, what made her fix up the problem? She said she was turned over. Mm -hmm. And that's when I ran over. She was, she wasn't breathing, she wasn't moving. How was she when you ran over? What's, what's her position? At this at, at this point now, she's on her back. She's on her back. Uh -huh. Now you said that that's when your wife saw her? No, when my wife saw her. My wife saw her from what she described. She was on, on her stomach with her head in the top corner of the crib. Her head in the top corner. In the top corner of her stomach. I guess my wife just pulling the bag or trying to, you know, get out of the form. Realized that she wasn't free. And that's, I guess, when she came and got me. Okay. How long did that take before she got back? Just months. So well, she had enough time to go in there and turn her over and run back? It doesn't take 36. Okay. 30 seconds about? See, it doesn't take that long. Okay. I wouldn't, like I say, you're not thinking about this as you Saying your wife could be supported, so you're not really counting the moments or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I just know my wife came in. Red straw, yeah. saying something's wrong with Arbor. Not Arbor, but the dry, she's not breathing. Where is Arbor in this time? Arbor's still in the bed. She's in the bed with the yards or? She's either in the bed or passing it. She's in the bed with the yards. Okay. And basically, when you got up, she was laying on. At this point, when she, I guess, here, when she pulled her, hole, that's when she realized. And that's, that's how I got her. That's when I called her. Called 911. And then I called her mom. So she never went in the kitchen? No. Here. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we have some other things that we want to ask you about. Sure. And, uh, Okay, you have the, uh, what we do basically, um, no, we're gonna go with the uh, corn. Corn. Yeah. Inform them about what, what, what that report entails. Okay. Corn, not it. Yes, corn first. The corn, are you familiar with the corn? The thing to figure out on that day? Yes, sir. Not for me, or just our, uh, okay. Well, then, 
No, this is just right. the form summarizing the people of salvation of what they were talking about. That's what they basically say a 14 month old child was found in a bed by her father not breathing. Father called 911, they kind of shared the part of the call, claimed kind of corner call, corner uh, or dot time. Okay. That's the way you say it. That, that's normal. We have to do that in any situation. So, when, when the corner all ordered an autopsy, an autopsy is conducted where a state medical examiner goes in and they do this on a daily basis. This is all they do. I don't know how they do it, but they do that on a daily basis. And they're well experienced in this. They're very experienced in this. So, James Reformer or as for what, what, what the results of the autopsy were. Cause of death is head trauma. Man of death is homicide. How? Head trauma. That's the boss. For cause winning. What do you mean by winning? Like, we know they saying that the head trauma occurred. That's what you found with the autopsy. I'm saying. <laughs> That's, I'm saying that's very vague. We need to be saying that it occurred. We are still working on the exact time part. Because it could not have occurred while she was with me that Saturday. Did you notice anything that would have been indicative of that? Uh, no. Your, your child suffering any kind of head trauma? She was with me from the time I picked up my hunt around noon. So I found her that morning. All the walking she did with me was in the hope was at the hospital. Now the autopsy report said there's multiple uh, lung funnel to her head. And it's not from a fall. And it's not one of those ones that can come from a fall. It's basically one of those ones that calls from an intentional deal or something similar to that. And what we want to do, I'm not accusing you of anything, and I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. What I'm trying to do is find out what that, what could simulate that. What could be something that, that's the reason I asked you a question as to what happened. Was there a sudden stop? Remember I asked you that question? Was there a sudden stop? Was it name? Okay, she didn't fall. That's what I'm asking now. Like, mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That's very, in my opinion, very vague. To the point where, like I said, I hadn't had any that up until when I got in that Saturday. She was at the hospital the entire day. Look at there, the house would be playing. He said that this is not something that she could have sustained, ended up playing, and eating or nothing. When it happened, it happened pretty quick. Not nothing that would have lingered for a week or so. So basically, it's narrowed down to hours within hours. That's impossible. That's impossible. That's impossible. But yeah. I didn't know rule, no anything, no nothing. Okay. That's, I mean, that's impossible. I'm not saying that medical examiner. Doesn't know what, what she he or she is doing. But somebody said, say, look, that's that's impossible. That's impossible. We were in a hospital an entire day. This child did not cry an entire day in the hospital. Did you see any swelling about her head? No. Even when the coroner came, they have pissed, she did not have any swelling, any bruising from anything. That's impossible. Think she could have bumped her head or anything or something? You think somebody could have dropped her without you knowing? No, not somebody. I gotta be honest with you. I'm mean, shoot straight forward with you. Do you think your wife could have possibly dropped her and didn't say anything? My wife didn't happen to drop her. And so basically your wife had no dealings with her at all. Knowing that day to where she could have dropped her. And when we got know. home that night, I took her to the bed, I changed her diaper, and I laid her down. So when you laid her down, everything was that was it. Okay, everything was fine. Everything was fine. You didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. No, sir. When you got in the shop, do you think your wife didn't willing to leave? And and done what? 
No, I'm just saying, do you think she could have went back in the ring? You know, she said that she fought when she got out of the uh, child. No, I don't see a reason for her to go back in the ring. So, do you know if she went back in the ring? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I'm 100% she wouldn't have went back to Louisville. There was no reason she wouldn't leave Aubrey in there by herself okay. to go back to Louisville. And Aubrey cannot do anything. Well, Aubrey can't walk. So basically, who else was inside the house at that time? Nobody. Just us. So only two adults in the house at that time? Could you see your wife keeping the child? Could I see my wife? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. So you came where and said, say, what she be like to a child? I can. Could you see her? No, sir. So how you go with your door? If, if my wife would have, no, well, not here if I said, could you see her? That's her. Could you see her? No, sir. She came back to the same, you know exactly what she was doing like to that child. Can you? No, sir. Okay, that's my question. Basically, like I said, we're not trying to, don't, don't get on the defense on this. I'm not, Basically, no, I'm not getting on the defense. From based on that that report there, for me to be in the home of my child an entire night, and my child did not cry an entire night, and for a report to say that she uh, that you said blunt force trauma to the head, multiple multiple places, for her to never cry, that doesn't add up. For her to not have a bruise or any swelling, that does not add up. Blunt force trauma will cause some type of bruising, some type of swelling. We had, we had, they take two pictures that morning, as soon as they got there. And my child had no discoloration on her at all. That does not add up. That doesn't make sense. That's not factual. That report can't be factual. Tell me this, what could have, what, just think back. What could have been something that would have caused that for them to see some trauma? Um, just think about it. She's a toddler. She may have fallen somewhere that you don't know that I don't know about. Okay. But she had not fallen while she was with me. So you have no knowledge of her falling? No. Okay. Tell me something. Let's go back to July the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead. Just show the pictures. Are you familiar with her ever having injured the head? Yes. You familiar with black eye? Not a black eye. Not with me. With black eye. Not with me. She's never had a black eye. She's never had a black eye. I got pictures of black eye. She's well, never, basically, hold on. She's never been with me and got that black eye. The only thing that happened with my child while she was with me, she fell on the concrete, bumped her nose in her head, and we immediately took her to the ER once that happened. Now I just don't see how you can bump your nose here, your head here, and have a black eye. The reason my child's eye looked this color was because when she was with her mother then my child is excellent and they were not giving her eggs and plane. So this would all look black. I have pictures of that from when I took her up there in my phone. Okay. So let's get that clear. Okay, that's clear. I understand that. Now, basically, have there ever been any allegations that was filed with the Department of Human Services that they had to come out and- Yes, sir. So let's talk about that. Okay. Tell me about it. Um, I got a phone call from the uh, Department of Human Services saying that uh, someone announced it placed the place to call and saying that uh, we were abusing uh, Gerard. Now tell me this, when was that? I don't know. Um, Y'all should Was it last year, this year? It was this year. It was this year. Yes, was sir. it before school, after school started, or? What school that started? School that started? This I year. Think so. So would it have been this this school year? I think so. So that school started what month? August. August. So it would have been around that time? It should be on file somewhere. I don't know. I, I, they, they, go and look it up. Yeah, what, it, what? it was it was within the last three months or so. It was within the last three months from October? From this present day. From this present day. Okay. Yes. Tell, you tell me about it. I, I don't have it. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you as much as I know. Someone in the ninth called, didn't leave a name. So we had to have a, a meeting with, uh, I guess it was in Department of Human Services, whatever. Yes, yeah. DHS. Oh, yeah, DHS. Uh, myself, my wife, uh, my other child's mother, Deirdre Smith, 
her aunt. We met. She, the mother said she don't, she didn't know who to make that call. She said, um, she know we, we've never done anything like that, or she doesn't know the reason why someone would make that call. And that was that. Okay. And she, lied. she said she didn't know why anybody would have made that call. That was about that. We went on. Went on. So the allegations him. were false. Who was doing it? Who, what was the allegation, though? Who was doing it? Was it Deidre Honor? Or was it you and Kia? You Kia. said Kia. 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 Yeah. Now, I mean, that was, uh, that's, they said that was uh, me and Kia. Uh, her mother had, had has had calls on her, Deidre Honor Smith. Uh -huh. People have made calls on her about different things, and I'm not sure. That's the reason it's why. As it relate to who? To Ryan. What was tell me about them? I don't know. You didn't look into them? No, not really. Was it abuse or was it something else? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. It was a while. It was a couple of times ago. When was this? This was just, this has been a couple of times just throughout the past year. You didn't look into it to see. Yeah, we talked about it, but I mean, it didn't. It didn't come to anything. It didn't. It was nothing there that would support the allegations. It, it um. It didn't personally involve me, so I didn't have much say so. But I'm saying your child, though, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no. I didn't truly know all about it, so I'm saying I didn't get true. I just didn't get factual information about it. Oh. Okay. Um, I mean. I had, you know, disagreements with my child's mother on certain things, but as long as my child was taken care of, okay. those type of, it was like mess, like people called on them and just type of deal, so I didn't just get plugged, get into that type of stuff. But have you seen any signs of any type of abuse in the past? Not abuse, neglect, like I say. Uh, with her eczema would flare real bad because they, she wouldn't get an eczema print anymore. She kept a cold and stuff like that, but nothing as far as physical abuse. No signs of physical abuse. No signs of physical abuse, no signs. Okay, even when the allegation came about, did you around this month? Never signs of physical abuse Okay. Has there been any of ever been any signs of physical abuse that you had to go and take care of business or basically? Not physical abuse, no, sir. No, no signs at all? No. Any type of abuse? I said, uh, Black rather, right? just making sure that she's taking her medicine for, uh, she would keep her cold. She always had the cold for some reason. She make sure she would keep her, uh, taking her medicine away. Finish her antibiotics, make sure she had an eggs and cream on every day, stuff like that. Oh, okay. You just so had to break out real bad. Okay, so she just had to have a date. Mm -hmm. Well, the eggs and cream? Yeah, yeah she would need that on a day. But does she bruise easy with eggs? You mean that she grew like it would be easy if she bumped if she was like she's walking like a toddler dude, I mean. I don't I wouldn't necessarily say the eggs will make her bruise easily. If she didn't use it, it would make her like, make her skin blare. Have you ever seen any bruises on her? No bruises. No bruises. All right. Um, Jen, do you have anything else? I'm just going to say this. It's your baby. So, man, it is not accident. I was at the doctor's office. I saw what happened. What happened to him? I'm saying I saw the injuries. What work? I was just told to draw. Where? To the end. It left me off. It's me. Let me explain this to you. What we're trying to do, this is an if. We're trying to find out exactly what happened. There's an explanation for everything. And I can't get anywhere, James can't get anywhere, you can't get anywhere as to finding out what happened. We, we have to get answers to the injury that James witnessed during the autopsy. If I get mad and I start accusing you and saying you did it, or if I accuse anybody and say that they did it, I'm not going to get anywhere. If James get mad and say that you did it and just, you know, just doing that, we're not gonna get away. It's not you get mad, you get not thinking about everything and giving us everything that you can, then we're not gonna get to the bottom of this. 
we're here for a drive, right? And basically, we're trying to find out what actually happened. There's, there's answers to everything. And that's the reason we're asking you these specific questions. Like I told you initially, this is not one of the, what we're gonna accuse you. We're not gonna be hostile with you. And like I told you, at any point in time, you can get up and leave. But basically what we're doing is trying to find out this for a try say, trying to find out exactly what happened. And what we want you to do is keep an open mind and just think about it and not try to self preservate or try to get Something just lay it all out. Let let us let us sort to it. Really, but back to some other thing. This no, you got to get to. No, my is it that yes. thing? No, no, that's they said I'm gonna have too much else. To it's not that you can go on or stuff. You might say wait a minute. But no, 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 no that's it. No, that's 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 it. My my thing is, I, we we are intelligent men. I just want to know. How can she have head trauma? Or blunt head trauma. Something happened. Barely. Something happened. Well, I mean, you didn't look at No, I'm, I'm wait, asking wait, 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 wait. I'm asking a question. I'm not a doctor. How can she have blunt head trauma with no bruises, no swell? I don't even know. And I'm asking. Now, there is such thing as internal injury. There are such things as internal injuries. You can go below and look at it. I'm not a doctor. Like I said, I, I, I don't know how to explain it medically, but there are such things where there are internal injuries and some people sustain injuries in car accidents and there's no out, out of um, signs of being far outside of the front. And so, I'll be saying, to say it happened hours before the corner arrived and I, I distinctly remember laying my child down, putting him to sleep, and we going to bed. At what time? Before 11 o'clock, I laid at night. Like p.m. on October. Or 11 o'clock on October, 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 October 21st. That's a Saturday night? That's a Saturday night. Okay. I distinctly laid her down and gave her a kiss and told her I looked like I always took her and pass through there and back. And my child, to be hit, to be hit in the head or blood for a trial, and she never cries. Come to this. I can't help but think about this, uh, Mr. Beverly. Come to this. Your child is 14 months old. And your wife, how long have you been married? Um, a little over a year. A little over a year. So, you were dating your wife before y'all got married? About how long? About a year. Okay. And has she come to grips with it? My wife uh, comes to grips with it. Uh, when my wife was pregnant on maternity leave, my wife kept dry for months up until she was, until she had out, when her mother wouldn't keep her or put her in daycare. Okay. My wife did that, so my, my wife loved that child like it was hers. Okay. My wife kept her and helped raise her. While I was at work each and every day, she was at home pregnant by herself. Okay, so how did D. John and your wife get home? Like any baby mother and man's wife probably would, they had to disagree, but for the most part, we made it work. Okay. For the most part, we made it work. It wasn't for the sake of drop, we just made it work. We had this real team in there. You never had any physical altercations or anything like that. We made it work. She would pick her up, drop her off. We would always be picking up and dropping off. Times we had this agreement, we would invite these over, these run over to the house to talk about. Hey, wife, what about? Sick. Sick. And I hate her because I just know how strong I am. 
and I know she's not as strong as me. Has it ever been any other disagreements as of recent? Um, we've actually been, actually been pretty good as of recent between me and my wife, my baby mother. Now it's time to lay it out, man. <laughs> if it's something, I would love to know about it. And if you care not to share it, just let me know that there was something that you care not to go into details about. Or I've tried to be, uh, try to be as thorough as possible. Okay. Everything that I've said, because, um, you know, I wanted to know, like, did my baby have a tumor or something? Or, or you know, thinking it had to be something like that. That's why hearing that, mm -hmm. hearing that and replaying that night over and over and over and over and over, that's why I said it just does not seem possible. It just does not seem, it, it, just, it just does not seem possible. Well, tell me this, have you ever disciplined your daughter? Yeah. How? Oh, just. On her hand? Yeah, just. Talk to her. Did your wife ever discipline her? Same way, just. And talk to her. And that was it? That's it. There's never been anything that was out of order? No. That you had to tell her to step it down a little bit? No. Has it ever been anything with the mother, Dijuana? You told her to step it down a little bit. Uh, the times where my wife it kind of went in with words. But other than that, I just had to disrespect each other. They went in with words. Yeah. Just texting. Sometimes, but we have to, we, that's how we communicate because we all work and stuff. So, we text, we have a group where we text and communicate about the baby. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I said, we all, we look those. We don't always be out of but other than that, just respect each other. I tell my wife to sign. Okay, well, what I'm saying is, hey, you have to have to tell Deidreana, as far as discipline, to step it down. I never actually uh, talked to her about she discipline Sharia Okay. And so, uh, how often does your wife keep uh, your daughter in order? Uh, she keeps her in order. Okay. Yeah. Since Aubrey has been born there, and since I've been playing, since I coached football, I don't have as much time for eating as I used to. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, when kid was pregnant, you know, maternity, she would keep her base now all the week. Mm -hmm. um, since school has started back, I get home late. What we do is on Fridays, uh, kid will pick her up from my mother Friday morning, and she would stay with her grandparent mom. She would say, my mom and dad on Friday, because I have games on Friday. Okay. And I pick her up Saturday mornings. Okay. And we take her back Sunday afternoon. Okay, so Gia basically didn't have a much by herself. No. Did Gia want to keep her by herself or was it just by design that you didn't want her to be keeping her by herself or how was that? What did yeah. Yeah. Did Gia was it by design that she didn't keep her much by herself or oh, no, we the family. Okay. I want to be with my wife. I took her on the weekend because that's my time. So I wasn't, it was by design that I only, my whole family with me on weekends. Okay. And Kid was on board with that. Had never had any problem with that. Okay. All right, James, you have anything else? Anything hey, else we had this day? Here, there you go. It's a true correct fashion. That's my business. That's our time now. It's 1.30 p.m. It was for 2017 at the Claiborne House Share Department. And once again, I'll be a patient. 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 I